here with another weekly market update. So this week I was primarily focusing on the 550 to $600,000 range. Um, and if you guys are familiar, I'll be referencing my spreadsheet. The spreadsheet breaks it down by $50,000 increments. Um, and then I further break it down into condo, townhome, twin home, and single family. And so what I provide for you is how much, uh, how much, how many condos are in the five hundred to six hundred thousand dollar range, or five fifty to six hundred thousand dollar range in townhomes and twin homes and single family. So that's kind of how I break it down. And um, I really just wanted to provide this for you guys, especially as sellers. Um, and buyers, buyers, it's nice to just kind of see a quick reference of what's in your price range. For sellers, um, I kind of go through all of the houses that I did see and I go through the square footage and how many um, bedrooms and bathrooms that each house has so that you kind of know what things are going for as well that are in your area. I primarily focus in the Springville to Santa Quin area, but I did venture out this time. I went to um, Highland and one in Pleasant Grove. So um, I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit. So today I will start um, by kind of giving you some uh, numbers that I noticed from this week to last week. And um, we, the inventory um, from Springville to Santa Quinn, and I'll do Utah County next, the inventory actually went up by 24. So last week it was down and now we're up by 24. I didn't see significant like crazy changes in just one category or one price point. I kind of saw it spread out through all of the different price points and everything from 200,000 to 2 million. So it was all kind of um, spread out throughout there. So last week, I actually have my notes, was uh, 429 and this week we're at 453. And that is on the spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet I always link in the description below. So you will have that. And it's great information to have. So, sorry, <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> so, um, for Utah County, it went up by 20. And that, again, was pretty um, spread throughout as well. So, the total inventory um, this week versus last week. So, last week it was 1,381. And then this week is 4, 1,401. So, again, that number, just in case I got it wrong, last week was 1,381. And this week is 1,401. So, I'm glad that I'm seeing the inventory go up. It definitely will dip sometimes, and that's totally fine. That's normal right now. I did notice last week that a lot of houses were being sold in around the $400,000 range, and that includes condos, twin homes, um, townhomes, and single family homes. I have noticed an uptick in that around the $400,000 range because I know that's the majority of what people can afford in the state of Utah or in Utah County specifically. Um, and I have heard from a couple of agents that they are getting multiple offers on houses in that price range. So I don't want to create like a sense of urgency if it's the right time for you to buy or sell. That's totally fine for you and you need to do what's best for you. Um, that's just information that I like to provide for my clients. So yes. Okay, so this week from Springville to Santa Quinn, in the five hundred to six hundred, in the five fifty to six hundred thousand dollar range, there were zero condos. There were four townhomes, eight twin homes, and forty three single family homes. So for Utah County, there were zero condos, uh, ten townhomes, eight twin homes, and one hundred and thirty two single family homes, which is really great to see. That's a really nice big number. And again, that was in the five fifty to six hundred thousand dollar range. So I saw a total of seven houses this week. Two of those were uh, past Springville, Utah. This is in Utah, if I haven't said that before. Um, so for Highland, that was the first one that I went to this week. Highland, I saw a house that was 2750 square feet. It had six bedrooms, three, um, almost four bathrooms, and it had two family rooms. It had a nice, beautiful, big backyard. Um, and then the next one that I saw was in Pleasant Grove. It was uh, almost, 
It was just over 3,800 square feet. This one did have a basement that was unfinished. And for me, uh, personally, I like unfinished basements. You can kind of put your own personal spin on things, whether it being um, an older-ish home. This one was built in um, the year 2000 or whether it's new. Uh, it had three bedrooms, two bathrooms, one family room, and one formal living room. And this one, I think, had kind of a like communal backyard. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. So this next one I saw was in Spanish Fork. It was just over 2,900 square feet, five bedrooms, one full bathroom, two three-quarter bathrooms, and two family rooms. Um, this one also had a very beautiful... Um, it was like a covered patio. It was really cool. I had never seen anything like that before. Um, and uh, this one I actually did a home tour um, at. So I'm really excited to show you guys. So that was that one. And then I saw another one in Spanish Fork. This one was twenty, just over 2,600 square feet. Three bedroom, two bathrooms, one family room. And this one did have an unfinished basement as well. And then the next one that I saw in Spanish Fork was 1,800 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, one half bath, like a little powder bathroom, one family room, and it did kind of have like a formal living room towards the front or like a study area. And that was it for Spanish Fork. And then I went to Santa Quinn. So Santa Quinn this home was, did have an unfinished basement. It was 3,800 square feet, almost 39. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, one family room, and it did have an unfinished basement. And I believe uh, this one did not have a yard put in, but to my knowledge, I think that they might put it in for you. Don't quote me on that. I'm not quite sure, but I think I may have heard that. <laughs> okay. And then the last one that I went and saw, again, was in Santa Quinn. It was 3,300 square feet with four bedrooms, two bathrooms, one half bath, and one family room. This one also did have an unfinished basement. Again, for me personally, I like that. Some people, that's not what they need at that time, and that's totally fine. Um, and uh, those two that I mentioned in Santa Quinn, I have a video tour of those as well. And that will be available to you on Saturday, so tomorrow. And I, this is kind of it for the market update. I really hope this helps you guys. I really hope you as a buyer and a seller um, just kind of know what's out there. Um, and I do personally tour all of these homes myself. Um, and a lot of the time I bring my daughter with me and it's insane and it's crazy. Um, but I really am just grateful to be able to provide this information for you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day and just stay tuned for more information.